hi guys and welcome to my channel today we're making cream of mushroom soup making soups is my forte i am really good at it and my daughter calls me a queen of soups so i have tons of soups on my channel and especially the mushroom ones but i've decided to slip in this jewel for you so let's get started here is the list of the ingredients for your screenshots and also will be listed in a description box below this first ingredient is optional but i've decided to enclose it for you we're gonna need two cups of assorted dried mushrooms and the reason i'm using the dried mushrooms first of all is gonna intensify the flavor and is going to produce for us a mushroom broth but you can use the chicken broth instead and of course we're going to need some fresh mushrooms i have a pound and a half of baby bella mushrooms but you can use different mushrooms of your choice instead of an onion i'm going to use two shallots uh, but you can use one large onion we also go into need four cloves of minced garlic and here's a secret ingredient i'm gonna use two tablespoons of dark soy sauce and this soy sauce is mushroom flavor it's gonna give the soup the most amazing flavor another secret ingredient would be a cup and a half of marsala wine and marsala wine is a fortified wine it's dry and sweet we also will need a cup or a cup and a half of heavy cream six to eight tablespoons of flour depending on the size of your pot and the amount of liquid you're adding two tablespoons of olive oil and we're also going to need four tablespoons of butter we're going to need some spices salt and pepper to taste and a half a teaspoon of dry thyme to finish our soup and to garnish it at the end we're going to need one small bunch of parsley first i'm gonna make my own mushroom broth you can use the chicken broth if you don't have dried mushrooms but the dry mushroom mix that i have has porcini mushroom in it which is you know as a king of mushrooms so it's gonna give us a very rich mushroom broth so we just need to pour hot water over dried mushrooms and then leave them for about 30 minutes until they fully hydrated then we're gonna drain them by placing them on a paper towel and uh, patting them dry with another towel so they are uh, ready to be chopped and uh, the dry mushrooms even after they hydrated they seem to be uh, tasting a little bit rubbery so you need to chop them very fine almost like into little crumbs just like that and please keep in mind that we need about five to six cups of mushroom broth for this soup instead of onions i've decided to use shallots shallot is a small onion and for a good reason the slightly sweet ingredient is part of the onion family and it usually tastes a little bit smoother and less pungent and it grows in clusters so as you can see one of them i had as a cluster so or as a twin so we need to uh, dice our shallots very fine just like that i am using seven quart size pot and if you're using a smaller pot you need to adjust all your ingredients i'm gonna place uh, two tablespoons of olive oil and four tablespoons of butter and we're gonna heat it up the reason that the combination of the two is used so the butter does not burn then we're gonna add our shallots and we need to saute our shallots on a medium uh, heat until they just soften and that will take you about a couple minutes or so then we're gonna add our minced garlic and saute that garlic along with the shallots for about a minute or so then we're gonna put our uh, hydrated mushrooms in there and chopped mushrooms then we're gonna just saute those for about a minute or so 
and here goes a pile a huge pile of our sliced baby bella mushrooms you can use white mushrooms instead or any mushrooms of your choice and at this point it's gonna look like it's a lot of mushrooms but they all gonna wilt down to maybe half to help them to do so you need to close your lid and uh, let them steam uh, and then mix them occasionally and as you mix them and they're gonna wilt down even more as our mushrooms start to get cooking and getting softer we're gonna add our seasoning and um, we're gonna add some salt pepper and dry thyme after all the seasonings have been added we're gonna add our dark soy sauce and that secret ingredient is gonna give our soup the most amazing flavor you will see if you don't have the dark soy sauce you could just add regular soy sauce and then we're gonna add our marsala wine that sweetness in this wine is also gonna produce the most amazing flavor for our soup as you can see our mushrooms have steamed enough and dramatically reduced in size at this point we're gonna start adding the flour and I'm gonna be adding it running it through the sieve since it's not a typical um, technique for making a roux you want to prevent any clumps in your um, uh, roux uh, so we're going to be adding it gradually by two tablespoons at a time and mixing it so it turns into some kind of a very thick paste and at this point we're going to add six cups of mushroom broth that i made and it looks very watery in the beginning but as our flour uh, gets cooking it's going to thicken up a lot you need to close it with the lid and place your soup on simmer for about 20 minutes and as it starts to boil you will see it's gonna thicken up and your bubbles are gonna get much slower and slower and your soup is ready turn off the heat completely add your heavy cream mix it and leave this soup to rest for at least half an hour but before you do that adjust your seasoning add salt if needed and also freshly ground black pepper in the restaurants uh, they usually make cream based soups uh, kind of watery because as they sit they thicken up a lot add some fresh parsley at the end close the lid and after some anticipation we are gonna be serving our beautiful soup and look at this it's it is as creamy as it can be and just ready to dig in i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you soon bye